Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Just um, another little training one about how an extruder works. So this is an um, extruder out of a K1 Max. So I'm going to pull it apart and see how it works. They're, they're pretty basic, but I've got um, it's not working at the moment because I think I've got some plastic cord in it um, because um, the head's going around and nothing's coming out. And so and I can hear it clicking. So sometimes when you, when your um, filament gets caught, you'll hear click 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 coming out of here. And that's just the gears trying to push something out and then not it's not moving so it's it's making the gears click um because um they shouldn't click i'm turning them now and they shouldn't click um but the filament isn't going through so it, yeah like i said it's just printing in midair it was going fine then it stopped <laughs> i went in to check on it and half of it's printed and then there's a whole big gap and it's just the head's just going around so that tends to suggest that there's a jam in here or there's a jam in the print head and I know it's not the print head because I can push stuff through the print head so I've heated the print head up and pushed some more filament through and it goes through fine um, so that tends to suggest something's caught in here so we'll pull it apart have a look I'll show you how it all works and how easy it is to pull apart and check so most extruders all work pretty much the same they may look a bit different but they all, they all work the same sort of way okay let's get into it Actually, guys, before we start, as per usual, if you'd like to subscribe, I'd be really appreciative of that. And um, a little like would go a long way too. If um, you find this video helpful, um, I do really appreciate the people that have. And um, let's get into it. Okay, so <clears throat> once you've got it out, and I have another video that explains how to get the um, extruder out, but there's these little bolts, one on each side. So get the right allen key there we go. just an allen key I'm not sure what size it's the third third size <laughs> well they're two and a half i think it is so i think we've got a bit of um plastic cord in it because it's um it's not extruding anything so we'll open it up and have a look what's going on so it just comes apart and basically this side is just a little motor that's all it does just spin and it spins those gears inside there so that comes off like so okay so if you have a look in here see that little bit of white plastic there that's come off a roll of filament and that's more than likely stopping the um it's all, all it takes is something as small as that to stuff up your your gears so let's have a look while we're in here <coughs> so this is a locking mechanism so well, that's all it does it just moves the um moves the cogs away from each other I don't think you can see it in here no you can't see it on this side but you can see what's going on there it's just locking it inside um make sure there's nothing else in here so you want to look in all the teeth inside the um extruder as well just give them a spin make sure there's no bits of um filament cord in or any crap that you want to mm -hmm, what's going on there that looks a bit funny there doesn't it it's like a tooth broken Ooh, that's a tooth broken there too so that might be causing a problem <laughs> as well this has been going pretty strong since i got it so i've had it for nearly know, when did it come out i know nearly a year it'd be almost a year now um and it's been going non-stop for a year so i'm not surprised these have started to wear out but that um that looks like it might be missing a tooth that wouldn't surprise me oh well Oh, well, soldier on, let's have a look if there's anything else. No. Oh, um, nothing else in there. <laughs> let's give it a bit of a blow out. So if you just have a look. See, these ones look okay. So this is how it should look. It should look like all the teeth are intact. A little bit of crap there. Um, yeah, where is it? Here. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the camera and do it. Yeah. 
because I've got a magnified view when I do it like this. So that looks alright now. Sometimes you get bits of fluff and stuff in there, but that definitely is a broken tooth right there. So I need to get a new set of gears. I don't think they sell the gears separately, so I'll just probably have to get the extruder. Oh well. These things happen. It's like I, I print I print a model, a largish model, just about every day. So as you can see over in that direction. All those models sitting over there on the bed. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I do every day. At the moment, I've got a back injury, so I'm stuck at home. So I just check that it all winds properly. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so this is how um, the extruder works, guys. So if it was like that. So these would fit in like so. It'd fit in like so. Yeah, and it would it would do up there. So it comes down through here. So the filament, there's a filament, will feed down through those little cogs, and when it's turned on, see when it's when it's on one one thing it's just nice and free, and then when it's turned on that way, it clamps it and it doesn't move. See, no. um, if, I put, if I move this, oops, see I've, I've accidentally knocked it, but if I turn it back on again, and then the, the cog moves at the side here, and it pushes the filament, can you see the filament there on the market, um, there's my filament there, okay so can you see when the <clears throat> I'm just grabbing at the wrong spot okay so basically what happens is the motor comes through through this end through there and it catches on that little cog there on the inside here I'll show, let me show you I'll get, take it out and show you so as the motor comes up through here can you see how it's making contact just just in there with this little wheel here see if I turn the one at the side see how the little the little motors were moving and that in and then the, the big cog oh, sorry the little cog moves these cogs and the big cog down the bottom here it hits that little motor cog so see how the motor cogs coming up through there well that's connecting onto this big cog here and this big cog here has got the little cog there and that little cog there runs these little ones here which turns these two wheels because they once they're into each other they've got the, your two cogs are joining down in the middle there so one turns and they all turn yeah so when you got the motor turned on the motor the little one's spinning which spins this one which spins these two okay so I can take that out now so as the filament is feeding down through where's my mark oh there it is as the filament is feeding down through the, the um, you push it down into the extruder and then you lock it into place well, what it's doing is pushing those I don't know if you can see the cogs moving closer together so loosey loosey now and then when I push it that way all the way yep not so loose anymore see I can just move it around and it's not falling out where if I got it the other way like it's, it's falling out and that's yeah, it's just coming out so basically when you clip it over it's just locking the filament in place cool so let's get it so you can see that see how see the little mark there so if I had this in it would be turning this big cog so I'll turn this big cog instead and can you see the little mark getting closer so that's pretty much how it works so that motor moves the big cog, the big cogs, the little, little cogs, and these little teeth here on the silver bit, that's what grips the filament and pulls it through. And there's one on each side. Cool. So that's it. Simple as that. Okay, so that's basically how your extruder works. And putting it back together is pretty simple. Just don't forget to put the washer on. And then just line her up. 
and put this on and this only goes on one way because there's there's two and a small one and on here they've got two and a small one it goes up there so when they go together there's only one way it goes on like so and whoops and there you go and then just put the screws up to do the screws up there's only two screws so it's really it's really basic so if you've got a clog don't pull this apart don't pull it out first thing you do is um, remove what filament you can um, and then you got to get that great little tool that's just here that came in your little kit so the, the little this thing so this pushes so if we unlock it unlocked cool so this should be able to fit through see it goes all the way through no problem if I've locked it you're gonna be struggle to get it free so make sure it's unlocked then push it through like you're pushing filament through and then it'll get to a certain part where it sort of stops because the print head is down here yeah and what you do is just get and just push with a little bit of force and make sure you've got the print head heated I usually heat it about 240 250 and then I push this through and any filament that's stuck in the print head should be forced out of the nozzle yeah so you just push it and do a few little up and downs like that and just push 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 and then when you'll see um, filament coming out of the nozzle and then that's the first thing you do if that hasn't worked then you got to pull this apart and check if there's any filament caught inside your extruder okay so okay guys so so that's our our um, k1 max extruder so here's one for an old an old guy <laughs> So this is one from um i used to have on an ender 3 i think it was but same sort of thing so the cut the cog goes in there or the motor will go inside there um oh, i've got it all screwed up but it's still got you know the cog sort of arrangement and the, the uh, filament goes in there and there's two little wheels in there that pulls it out same sort of thing so here's another one this is um an all metal one that they used to sort of go on about it was really good and it's sort of you know because every now and again on the on the, these plastic ones the housing would crack or the, the um the cogs would crack or something and they were a real pain in the butt yeah so you used to get an all metal one here that everything was metal and you'd have to piece it together to get it to work <laughs> so that's the old that's the old style oh let me just do that so that size as opposed to this you can see the motor's got somewhat smaller and the extruder has got somewhat smaller so that's that's the extruder that's the extruder that little bit on top there so this bit here and then that's the stepper motor there as opposed to this sucker here oops there you go so they've reduced stuff down a lot and the weight is there's a lot of weight difference in there so basically if you look in here there's your little cogs and you can see all the see all the white bit all over that so that's filament so I should really get a wire brush and give that a bit of a scrub if I was going to reuse it again and get all that out so then the filaments get the best grip so that's what I said when I was looking through here um, and saying clean that clean the cogs that's what you're looking for if it's got any of that sort of crap on it clean it off um, but this this one here you sort of had to there's a pain in the ass how did it go so I used to have it where it would the motor would come up there and you'd have it um, yep, like that a screw would go in there and then you'd um you'd push it in and out type things and have springs on it like that to push it apart that's it yeah, was a pain in the butt um, and that little cog would um, be a replacement for this depending on which one you wanted so that's that's a little kit there a whole little kit for an extruder that, that we used to have this is another one that i got ages ago it's meant to be a better one but uh, they're all the same and this is um the latest of course. so that's um extruders for you so not that hard guys yeah so pretty basic it, it's there's not there's not there's nothing really advanced in the um in the printers except for motherboards and stuff but um all the stuff that you can actually work on and do something with it's all very basic so a couple of screws holding things together just got to remember what way the screws go and like i was saying in my previous videos that i've done 
if you're going to pull something apart, take it, take a video. All your phones have got video. Put your phone up, get a little stand for it, or brace it somehow. And as you're taking the screws out, show it to the camera and put it down. That way, if you can't remember which screws go in where, you've got a video of it and you can watch. Okay, so if you video everything you're doing, you can go back and watch how you pulled it apart, help you get it back together again. Okay, so I hope that helped, guys. I hope it sort of explained a little bit about how your 3D printer works. It's very basic. Um, so this is called a stepper motor. And this little bit on the thing with all the cogs in it is the extruder. Okay, so they've gotten very compact now that it used to be a lot bigger. Okay, anyway, they all work exactly the same sort of way. Okay, I hope that helped, guys. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? <laughs> Have you got this far? I think I deserve a like. Okay, guys, thank you. Bye. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these or one of these videos. Um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. Okay, thanks guys, bye.